This is a very quick tutorial to show you how to make a teleporter in Kodi. So go into Kodi Game Lab and select New World. Now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to make two very quick islands. I'm not going to spend a lot of time making them look pretty. I'll choose the round brush though. different texture and make a second island. Yeah. Remember if you want a smooth um, effect you can push down and um, for some reason EMD video cards the texture doesn't show when you do that but it does still work. So we've got two islands in that aren't in interconnected, so you can't cross between the two of them. Um, you could create, well, create a uh, raise up two levels and put water in between um, by filling in that hole, and you could make a different kind of divide, but I'm just going to do it this way for the purpose of this teleporter. What I'm going to do now is add in a coda. Uh, you could do this with a different object, but I'm just going to use coda. I'm going to Program him, change his colour first using the right arrow key. Make him blue, let's say. Right clicking him, go to program. And what we want to do is add in some basic controls. So when we use the keyboard and we hit on the arrow keys, let's move Koda. And that's all we're going to do for Koda in this tutorial. We'll change the settings a bit. So right clicking him, go to change settings to the left mouse button and we'll drag all these up a bit. Again, not spending too long on this, just turning up all the kinetic acceleration and speed settings so that he moves faster. If you run that now you'll see that we can we can move Cody about but he can't cross the island. He can't cross the divide to the second island. What we're going to do now is make Cody uh, a creatable. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to change settings, move down and I am going to tick or click on creatable. Now if I run that again you'll notice that Cody disappears because he's now creatable, he doesn't appear by default. I'm going to make a spawn point now, which is for the non-gamers, which is a point where he's going to appear at. So I'm going to click and I'm just going to take a rock as a spawn point. And I'm going to basically program the rock to spawn him. So I'm going to click on the rock, if I can select it, go into Cody, click on the rock, Right click on the rock, go to program and say when stored and I'm going to say more. I'm not sorry, I'm going to take scores because I'm going to choose a special type of score. Um, I'm not going to use the colours for this because they show up on the screen. I'm going to say more and I'm going to use a variable. I'm going to use C for this one, but you can use any letter at all you want. Okay. And now I'm going to say when C is set to um, 0, so I'm going to say compare equals to 0, which by the way is the default when the game starts. Then what I'm going to say is do action curate, and if I click on plus again and go to creatables, you'll see that there's one creatable which is Kodu. So if I run that now, quickly and almost crashed the computer because I forgot to say program work again and we also need to do something to stop this happening what we need to say is do game set the score and we want to set the scores on the C and we want to set that score to 1 okay so as soon as we spawn him we're going to set it to 1 and as you can see now, he spawns. Okay, now what we're going to do now is make something to be the teleporter. So let's choose an object and we'll stick it, say, over here. 
and I think I'm going to go with a tower, but you could go with whatever you want. I'm going to go with a tower. So I'm going to make red. Okay, and we're going to now program the tower. So I'm going to say program the tower. And what I'm going to say is when I have, sorry, not scored, when you know, the tower bumps, Kodu. And, and if you want to be specific, you could say the blue Kodu if you have more than one Kodu. But I'm going to say when a Kodu bumps into the tower, what I want to do is first of all, I want to vanish him. So the option for that is under combat and then vanish it, which is what has bumped into it. Right? So bump code vanish it, which is the object that's bumped into the tower, which in this case is code. Right. Uh, if we run that now, and we've got to the tower, and he disappears, but it doesn't respawn. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new line, and we're going to drag it in, and what we're going to say is when he bumps code to vanish it, and we're going to say, again, we're going to use the variable. We're going to set score. And we're going to use scores, more, C, and we're going to set it to 2. So this C is basically going to be the indicator for when things happen. Okay, and when I go up here again, he disappears and C is set to 2, but we don't see that and it still doesn't spawn. So the last bit is, over here, click on something and put it in, in the second island. Let's say we'll have that rock there. Right, so you see if we drag over to this island now, we see we've got this rock over here. And we've got a gap as well, which I should fill in. There we go. Right, so sorry. Uh, so program this rock now. And what we're going to say is when... Program and say when... And we want this scored. Right, so if it's not under there, look for... It's usually for most objects right there the scored, but this one's got special options on it. So we're going to say more scored um, scores more and C again. So when C basically is equal to, and you guessed it, 2, which was indicated by when we hit the tower, what we're going to do is we are going to action and create a creatable and it's going to be Kodu. Right? So if we run this now and we use Kodu and put them over to here, it's over there. Now I forgot the same thing that I forgot in the first one, which is as soon as you do that, say do aim set score uh, scores more get used to this one out C and we'll set it to three. Okay, and that's going to stop and spawn him multiple times because it will no longer be equal to two. So here we go. We drive code over to the tower and he spawns over on the other side, this magic. And that is the end of the tutorial. What I'd like you to do for your homework, as you like, if you like, is to create another object on this island which will spawn him back on that side. Okay, it will only take two lines of code. And you should be able to spawn him back on that side. And that's me. Goodbye for now. Good luck with the challenge.